Snoop lying, I ain't trying. So bust a rhyme, have your ass start crying. Huh, you a free bleeder. Call you Snoop Snoop lying, you a motherfucking black cheater. Hey! Mm. Oh Lord, how much? Uncle Ruckus, try to fuck with me. Ain't <laughs> no way to deep to fuck with me. <laughs> I'm your nephew, I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Uncle Ruckus used to live at my mama house. True. Used to sleep on the motherfucking couch. That right. Changed the channel to his favorite white programs. That right. And always dancing to his favorite slow jam. Like Frank Sinatra, yeah. old blue eyes. Anything white, right before your eyes. He love it. Fuck that, it's nigga shit. Fuck you, Uncle Ruckus. You can eat a dick. You on my show now. Nigga, this the throwdown. Oh. You don't want to go down. Nigga, this the showdown. This is how I go down. Flow down, run circles around your fat ass like a track now. Go down. I can't run no slay cause I'm an out of breath. Yet I don't rap my black ass to death. I could go on, but I will not go. You right, you the snoop blind. It's your motherfucking show, I guess. So I see, Unc, you brought, uh, you brought Aaron with you, huh? You yeah, I Mr. Aaron Magruder. Aaron Magruder, where you know Aaron from? Uh, he, he created the Boondock. Oh, he did? Yeah, that nigga, he can draw with a pen. He can? And that's the creative, that little nigga sitting down there right there, yeah. the nigga that created yeah. it? That little nigga's a squirrely. Mm -hmm. You can't catch a little nigga. He'll try to go get educated real quick, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Big nigga, you can see him when he crack a buck open. You close your eyes sometimes on a dark night. Mm -hmm. You almost think he white. <laughs> so, Aaron, what you working on right now? Well, we doing a movie with Uncle Ruckus. Mm -hmm. uh, we raised the money on Kickstarter right now. The, the, the Kickstarter ends on the um, last day of February, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go shoot this movie starring Uncle Ruckus. <clears throat> What, what would they have to do in order to, to support the situation and help you get to that target number? They got to go to UncleRuckusMovie.com and uh, what they do is they, they find a pledge level. We give them a lot of stuff for their, for their money. You, you know, from, from one dollar you can download tracks from Uncle Ruckus. Uh, all the way up to 10,000 you can be in the movie, get a credit, uh, and, and everything in between. So. so Aaron, tell me, you know, for the viewers at home watching, how did you know you create the Boondocks, and how did you get it to the point to where you actually made it come to life? Um, you know, I was probably like 19 years old. Uh, just, just, just had an idea, needed a job. You know, was into politics, was into art, uh, and uh, you know, was able to get it into the newspapers. And then after a few years, um, you know, started started developing for television. It launched in newspapers in '99. I think we got on the air in 2005 and just been doing it ever since on, on TV. And now uh, with, with Uncle Ruckus, we're doing the movie. It was mostly an older white audience in newspapers and then we moved to television and it was mostly a younger black audience and it's... And it's so the white <laughs> audience is what got you established? You know, it's, that's who reads newspapers. <laughs> I think I speak for us now. <laughs> All great things come from the great white light. Mm. White people invented the boom. That's basically <laughs> Who's the great white hope in basketball? Well, basketball ain't good no more. Since I like Buddy, it's gone. So what you saying that white men are better athletes than black men? Oh, they are. They invented the game of basketball, baseball, and football, and the hardest game of all golf. That is why. <laughs> so you saying that the white men invented all of these sports? Yes. Now they did start letting niggas play them. That's why <laughs> niggas have numbers on their back, so they knew. Oh, that's my number, nigga number twenty-two. I gotta keep track of him. Nigga number eight over there, so they never really get lost, you see. Nigga numbers, nigga numbers. It's all, it's all mathematics. It's all mathematics. <clears throat> Who is the, the, the greatest athlete of all time? Is it? Wow, that's tough. Is it? Is it? Is it uh, Muhammad Ali? Is no. it? <laughs> I can answer that now. I keep going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bruce Jenner was an amazing athlete of his time, of course, that is a given. He still would be. You could take Bruce Jenner off that show right now, that TV show he on, and put him up against any colored athlete, and he would beat him in any sport. That, that's a given. But I, I, you know, of course, that's not. Wayne Gretzky? Of course. He's, he got the skills of ice. Wayne Gretzky could beat anybody. Joe Montana. And once again, discount double check. Mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers. Arnold Palmer is an amazing athlete. Any man who can have a soft drink named after himself. T. 
and lemonade, all in one. <laughs> you can't get better than that. What about Tiger Woods? Tiger Woods ain't got no drink named after him. When Tiger Woods gets a, a drink named after him, then maybe he can come back and visit. That child nigga ain't got nothing. <laughs> Owen thought James Simpson. Oh no, 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 no. He just he just he's killed a white woman. He's he's committed the worst crime of all. <laughs> the worst crime of all. That's fifty times worse than slavery right there. The death of a white woman is fifty times worse than slavery. <laughs> or worse than slavery if there was such a time. I will say one sport that white folks is dominant in is swimming. That's that is correct. They can swim. Because once again, I said the niggas have heavy bones. White folks have really light bones. Mm -hmm. You cannot drown a white man, even if you try to. White men will naturally float to the top. Who's the great white hope in basketball? Well, basketball ain't good no more since somebody like Bird is gone. Bird? Yeah, when them people are gone, basketball just ain't, it ain't enjoyable no more. I ain't watched basketball since Pistol Pete Maravich. Oh, wow. Now, that was a long time ago, and that's when basketball was good. When they wore, when they wore sensible size shorts, like mid-thigh. Mm -hmm. They wore them high socks that came up to the knees, mm -hmm. and they very gently bounced the ball down the floor. <laughs> there wasn't no slamming the ball in the net. A white man would go out, he'd go out about 10 yards, he would survey up the situation, he would use mathematics, he would use geometry, and figure out the arc of the ball to go into the goal. Now they're about, ha, ah, ha, ah, a goddamn ape swinging out a banana. <laughs> Fuck you for asking that. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I can say about private parts. Hmm. Ну что, ребята, если вы хотите приехать в Россию, то не за погодой, а приезжайте за вот этим. Good job, Jeff. Yeah, that really needed to fix it. Yeah, the niggas did, the niggas did elect themselves a president. I guess we may as well let y'all have a few years just to see how much y'all can fuck things up. The, the white man did give us Black History Month. Yes, he did. That and was mighty generous of you. That, that was mighty white of you to give us Black History Month. 28 days. 28 days. 28 days more than your black half hour <laughs> have. 28 days of every day of that week. You agree with me on this, don't you? Yes, I do. Every day of them 28 days, the black man should have his black ashy ass knees down on the ground, praying and thanking the white man for giving me them 28 days. You know, what y'all do with it instead? What they do with it instead? Mm -hmm. It's Black History Month. Let's barbecue and rob. <laughs> y'all need to be out there thanking the white man for giving you that. He didn't have to give you that. Hell, I think he ought to have a month where he just take everything away he done gave the white, the black man, don't you? Oh, man. Just take be... it right away from him. What month? It don't matter. Whatever month he choose, he's going <laughs> to keep you confused. It might be January. It might be March. Hell, it might be February when you think it's Black History Month. That's take back month. Yo, oh, your right to vote? Give me your right to vote, nigga. You don't need that. You ain't use it right no way. You've proven the last eight years you ain't using it right. What about uh, Frederick Douglass? Now, who is that? That's that big Afro nigga? <laughs> what are he famous for, the Afro? I mean, I can't imagine what else he's famous for. That's the Afro. He's got to be an Afro. That's, that's the one you're talking about, right? The big white Afro? Yeah. Well, he invented the Afro, I guess. That's something. <laughs> okay, I will admit it. Fregler Douglas invented the afro. Yay, nigga, yay. <laughs> you got that. Y'all can have that one. Take that one. Put that one under your pillow at night and sleep and wake up with your greasy ass hair on the pillow and think, oh, what a good thing we have done for ourselves. They say Harriet Tubman was one of the greatest black women of all time. That's not, that, that, who that? That's the Underground Railroad? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. If she was that great, why the fuck wasn't that railroad up on top of the ground? White man built the pyramids, mm -hmm. and they built motors. Mm -hmm. uh, all the important things, the comb. What you think about Alex Haley? <clears throat> Alex Haley? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a fellow who lied about that roots book. Mm -hmm. But I did enjoy I did enjoy that movie. I enjoyed the part where his foot got cut off. That was funny. 
That was one of the funniest parts ever in a movie. Compared, only, only, only other movies, funny parts that matched that was watching Precious get burned by a cigarette. That was funny. <laughs> and the part where Jamie Foxx's character almost got his nuts cut off in the Django. That was funny. <laughs> Tyler Perry owns slaves, and for that I appreciate him. Me too. He bring a slave ship back, right? He is. He got an underground railroad that he built to a studio down there in Atlanta, Georgia. Just running niggas in there. Running them in, make a shitty TV show, and then run them right back out again. <laughs> Tyler Perry, that's one brilliant nigga. Barack Obama. Oh, your president. <laughs> yeah, the niggas, did, the niggas did elect themselves a president. I guess we may as well let y'all have a few years just to see how much y'all can fuck things up. Let's give them a half black man in the office. Mm. So I enjoy the white side of him. You do? But the nigga side of him is just dumb as a bucket of donkey dick. <laughs> so what side of him is white? He gets that from his mother or his father? Well, the way that he can speak, I like that. That's from his white mother. <laughs> And then all the stupid ass laws he's making, that's from his nigga daddy. This is, this is the greatest talk you, show you I've ever to, seen. Were you trained to be, were you trained by the white man? I, I'm so clear. I was, because somebody brought a book up here today uh, called How to Be a Black Man or Something. How to Be a Black Man? Mm hmm Do they really need training in that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how much training do it take to be a black man? What the fuck you going, what, 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 what was in there? Directions to Roscoe's. What was in there? I don't. I mean, what was what was in that book? Don't use a napkin. Suck the juice off your fingers. What was in the book? <laughs> Hell, I could have wrote that. That's two pages. Here you go. Give me fifteen dollars. Mm -hmm. I see you got a bunch of shoes setting up here, but in the middle you got the black man's spoke shoe, which is the slipper. <laughs> Cause you know you ain't gonna ever walk faster than, than you need that slipper for. So what the hell is all this other shoe technology up here for? What you gonna use that shoe technology for? Well, me and the white man from Adidas got us a nice little paperwork deal going on. <laughs> oh, okay, well, if, uh, never mind. If that's your sponsorship, I'll leave it. Oh, these are pleasant shoes. <laughs> Unc, you have a beautiful evening and night, and uh, it's always a pleasure to treat from Players Meet. Same here. And if any niggas watch it, Bye, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> the craziest show ever. That's what up, though? This big Snoop Dogg, a.k.a. Snoop Lion, a.k.a. Nemo Host. And I want y'all to subscribe right here. Hit that button right there to subscribe. And if you want to check out the old videos like that one right there, that one right there, that one right there, or that one right there, or maybe that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. check them out. Over and over again, GGA coming at you. And be sure to subscribe right here. Get high with me, fly with me, ain't no dividing us. East side, west side, north side, south side, unified. Come on and ride with us. Put your lighters up. Get high with me, fly with me, ain't no dividing us. East side, west side, north side, south side, unified. Come in, yard man in the place. You know, we're ever clean. I great flow through with bloodstream. The goons I'm out, the girls I'm out, we love the chemistry. We're making money, fuck the guns, we don't want an enemy. Come and we do this to the man in until it does. Church, preach, tabernacle.